For those who have watched the YouTube channel for some time now, I want to thank you so much for your support. Uh, recently, I've come to the conclusion that it's time to update the entire uh, SCA curriculum and coffee course offerings at How to Coffee Pro. While I'm doing that, I'm going to release all of the old training videos to be open to the public and for you. I want you to keep growing. I want these videos to make life better for you and your community. So share them with a friend. Uh, let other people know that this is a channel that's going to be uh, getting the word out, sharing uh, certified training in a very open and friendly way. Uh, you can't just watch these videos and then take a test and get certified, but essentially these videos are built around all of the uh, 2020 to 2023 course curriculum for the Specialty Coffee Association. So uh, enjoy this course and all of the components in it. If you have any questions, please reach out to me directly. Go to sca.training or howtocoffeepro.com. I can't wait to start the conversation and get you in a class, uh, online classes, uh, online coaching, and then in-person classes, advanced lessons. Somewhere in the U.S., uh, come visit me or around the world. Maybe we'll set up a course near you. So keep growing, make life better. Talk to you soon. Welcome to the Introduction to Coffee, Specialty Coffee Association course. And if this is your first course in the SCA Coffee Skills Program, I want you to know personally, it's one of my favorites. The Introduction to Coffee course is designed to hit all the main aspects of that coffee value chain, from green coffee, to roasting, to sensory analysis, to the cafe brewer, brewers and baristas. So no matter where you stand in the coffee value chain, there's something here for everyone. And if you're just a coffee fan, this is going to amplify your personal coffee experiences and understanding. This course also includes four great exercises which are designed to help you do an A-B test. So kind of a uh, A-B comparison, one-two comparison. And you can establish a really good baseline for the concepts that are covered in this course specifically between coffee grades, coffee species, coffee processing methods, and coffee roast levels. Now these four aspects of coffee, the grades, the species, the processing method, and the roast levels, you are going to find those on pretty much all coffee labels and packaging. And uh, whether you're a buyer or uh, you just enjoy uh, drinking this coffee, there's going to be something to hit those main four points for everyone. If you've never done a coffee cupping before, or if you lack the supplies, brewing the coffee is also a great option. Just make sure that you keep the brewing parameters exactly the same. The reason is we're doing an AB test. So if you brew A on a French press, just use the same exact recipe as B brewed on a French press. An automatic dripper is also a great way to control those variables. Anything else, you know, pour overs and AeroPress, a lot of the handheld devices, those can be more challenging just to keep consistent. There's going to be links where you might be able to build some of these exercises yourself or you can purchase them. And uh, go ahead and feel free to set up these exercises immediately or later you can come back to them after you've studied and you've ordered some of the supplies online. Now, at the introduction and foundation levels of the specialty coffee courses, there are no practical skills required if you are looking to get certified. These exercises and activities are included just to make sure that your learning is growing, that your skills are developing, so that one day when you move into intermediate or professional courses, you will be required to demonstrate those skills with an AST trainer in person. However, at the introduction level, this course, and foundation levels, five foundation courses, you just have these exercises and activities to prepare and to advance your skills, but you don't have to submit, submit or show any of your work. You just have to be able to uh, inform your trainer, inform me when you're done with the course and I'll unlock your online exam. There's only an online multiple choice and true and false exam for you to get certified at those starting levels. 
So as you move into this course now, read to see all the topics we'll cover. Be sure to click links and download the documents. You know, you can print some of those. You can create your own course workbook or course book by printing the slides and uh, just build something that you find is most helpful for your learning style. You may be able to download a app on your device. I know, for example, Teachable offers a app in the App Store. Depending on where you have joined this course, you may be able to find a very useful way to study on your mobile device as well. Reach out if you have any questions. Go and grab a refill on your coffee, grab your notebook, and let's dive in on the next part for this course.